Money scares you. You are literally petrified of money. And it doesn't have to be that way. Because even though you're so careful with it, even though you try so hard to make it stretch, you still feel quite restricted, which then adds to your fear, which then becomes a horrible cycle because you just continually feel petrified of money. You don't really handle it properly. So therefore you get even more reason to be afraid of money and so on on and on and on the cycle goes. Hey, I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I am the Money Minister. I support action-oriented spiritual people to thrive, to prosper, to make at least six figures doing their purpose work, whether it's in a job, whether it's in a business. I support you to leave behind the pain, the limiting beliefs of the past so that you can rise victorious in your true design life, okay? You deserve freedom, fulfillment, financial abundance, a love-drenched life, but you are the one that needs to claim it, okay? And you cannot claim that life whilst you're running scared about money. Money. Money is created to support and serve you. Money is literally divine love materialized to support you in creating the life that you desire, but you are running scared of money. You're not facing into money. And so even though you have an, you know, other people might look at your salary and think to, your, to, to themselves or to, and say it out loud to you that you're fine. What is the issue? You know that you are lying in bed worried about money. You, you, it doesn't ever seem to be enough. You always feel this restriction around money and you desperately want to feel free about it. But then there's a part of you that thinks as a spiritual person, you shouldn't be thinking about money. But again, money is simply divine love materialized. It is literally an attempt by the divine to love you, to support you in creating the life that you want, except you put so much judgment on what money means. Either you are snobbish about it, like, oh, spiritual people are not supposed to think about money. I'm above such thing. I'm, I'm not about the money. Money does not motivate me. It's a lie. It so completely motivates you because most of your life is controlled by how much money you do or do not have. Okay, so that's a lie. You feel you've made horrible mistakes around money. And so you make it worse by not facing up to the fact that, yeah, you probably did make some mistakes around it. So what? You start again and you start afresh right here. And the only reason why that's even an issue, like the whole debt thing, it's simply because you, the, your measure of money, the way you see money, it's almost like a measure of your worth. And so because there's an issue with you feeling worthy, which is then even made worse by the fact that you feel you've made mistakes and so then of course you're still not worthy you won't ever allow yourself to create an abundance of money because there's this sense that you don't feel worthy of it and so therefore you don't deserve it and you shouldn't have it and you shouldn't be loved and the divine should punish you and so you punish yourself nobody's judging you but it, it all gets so confused around money but actually money is very simple it's actually quite simple the more people you serve the more money you make simple <laughs> Simple. If you open up to being loved unconditionally, you will, as long as you allow it, make more money. As long as you're not the snobbish spiritual person saying, oh, I'm not motivated by money and my spirituality is over here and my money is over there and the two should never meet. Nonsense of a nonsense. Every time anybody says that to me, I know they're broke, basically. You want to be free around money. So yeah, you're going to have to face into where you're at right now, okay? Really know. If you are in debt, get to know what that is. Running away from it isn't actually making it disappear. It just weighs you down. So you may as well get to understand what's happening with your money, but then also make a new decision. Money is not the master of me. I am master over money. You are master over money for real. That is the way it's supposed to be. And you don't get there by avoiding it or by pretending you're not motivated by money when everything you do is literally motivated by money. So <laughs> money exists to support you. There is a more comfortable way to be around money. Money is not a measure of your worth, okay? And I know maybe you came from a family where how much money you have and how much money you display is a measure that everybody measures you by. And so there's shame. And I come from a family like that. There used to be shame in me about how much money I do or do not have. And oh my God, what people think of me and all of that. That is me being emotional. That has nothing to do with money in some ways, but... If you think that way, it feels as though it has everything to do with money. It's time to break free of these crazy ideas around money. It's time to deepen your, your intimacy with the divine and recognize that the divine is withholding nothing from you, not giving or taking from you. You are literally the one giving or taking from yourself. It's time for you to get free 
so that you can experience financial freedom and abundance, having more than you even know what to do with. It's time to get rid of those snobbish, weird spiritual ideas that keep you in a life that is so much less than what is possible for you. And so, honey, if you are done with this whole craziness around money, learn how one, to deepen your intimacy with the divine. That has, and it has nothing in some ways to do with money. And yet it has everything to do with it because how you're perceiving money is going to affect how you perceive the divine and how you perceive the divine. If you see him as judgmental and whatever, it's going to affect how much money you allow yourself to have. So, so it's all kind of intertwined in your mind. Get clear with your relationship with the divine and also with your relationship with money. Okay. Sometimes people say to me, oh, you can't love God and money. I'm sorry, but it's a lie because you know what? God is everything. Money is not an exception to that everything. If everything is God, is there actually a separation? I really want you to actually think about that for real. You deserve financial freedom. And when you are able to allow yourself to have as much as you desire, you can actually make, have more of an impact on this planet, which is exactly what you want. But whilst you live in this restriction, it's impossible for you to experience that freedom. Let's work together to free you of this craziness. You deserve to be free. Are you ready? Are you ready to be free? Much love.